Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and first of all, I want to say a happy new year and welcome to 2022. I hope you enjoyed your Christmas and I hope you were able to spend some time with your family and friends. In this very tutorial, and even before I talk about the tutorial, I just want to say 2022 has a lot of interesting things coming up. So I just want you to stay glued. And in this very tutorial, we are going to be designing a social media promo you can use for your social media or what in whatsoever thing you want to use it for. So if you are interested in making this with me, stay tuned and I will be right back after the intro. Right, so here we are in Canva. The first thing I'm going to do is, you can see I have my elements here and you can get this in the link in the description. There's a, a Google Drive link that can take you to in the folder where you can get this particular element. And with this photo, you can actually get it in Canva. So you can see this is the photo over here. So coming back to this, okay, my first canvas, I click on it come to colors and select the yellow color okay the color code is ffb800 now the next thing i click is or i select is my image you understand then i make it bigger a little bit okay then i come to edit image and i remove the background of my image so it should start loading and with this if you are on the free version of canva what i can see is there is remove.bg okay and there is stickamigo.com slash trace that can help you to remove the background of your images then you upload it into canva but i think in 2022 i want you to consider upgrading to canva pro because it has a lot of advantages and yes i've been a canva um user for a very long time and i started with the free version of canva and now using the pro version of canva makes it very easier honestly you're able to make quality designs easily with canva pro so with this there's a link in the description box below where i want you to get canva pro okay at a very cool price and the other part of it is even if you are not ready to upgrade the same link can help you to use the you know the pro version of canva for 30 days absolutely free you don't have to pay a dime for that so why don't you take advantage of this opportunity while you know you are learning how to design something interesting today so let's go back into our design right so you can see canva pro has been able to remove the background of our image and maintaining the quality this is one thing the external tools you'll be using wouldn't give you okay it would rather reduce the quality of your image okay so after we do this come to elements and in elements we are going to um line and shapes okay so in line and shapes just scroll down a little bit and you see this shape is called the u shape so we can use it so i rotate to 90 degrees rotate you know not rotate but reduce the size and i would stretch this out a little bit and click on the duplicate icon over here and you know rotate this to negative 90 then add it here select both you know shapes and click on group so we can make it bigger you understand then we rotate this a little bit to negative seven i position it here and i would send it back okay so i use the shortcuts but if you know it's for some weird reasons if your shortcuts are not working well just come to position and you see send to back so you just select it okay so now i would want to change the color of this shape i have over here so i come to colors and i'll choose the purple okay and i think i would want to use purple for this one too yeah because purple works well with yellow then what we are basically going to do now is we are just going to duplicate that spread it across with you know um create more varieties in terms of the size and the length and things like that so that's pretty much what we are going to do okay so like i was saying so you duplicate you can bring this to the top over here reduce the size and i can maybe i'll just maintain this one change the color to white you understand duplicate it again and i'll change this one back to the purple so i change back to the purple reduce the size or you can just adjust the size however you want it and i'll send it back okay so in this case this pretty much what we are going to do i'll select all of these and i'll deselect the image 
bring it down a little bit then i would okay duplicate reduce and i would bring this to the top so if i want to make it longer okay what i can do is i have to ungroup first click away then increase the length of this okay then you re select both of the um then you reselect both elements and you group okay so this is how it's going to be so in this case just to um save you a lot of time i'm going to skip the process where i get to add all of these shapes and arrange them beautifully so that you can be able to see what i'm doing and you can also pause the video and just you know arrange yours like how i have done mine right so you can basically see what i have been able to do okay so in this case what we are going to do now is to add our text okay so we come all the way to text and in text what we are going to do is to choose add a heading so once it loads you can just pick that rotate it also to negative seven okay like we did for yeah the the ships okay then you can just add your heading so i can say social okay media then i can select all text come to you know my font section and just choose the Montserrat extra bold because that's what i want to use for this okay so align your text well in the shape okay and maybe my image is looking too big so i just drop it down a little bit and select my text come to colors and change the color okay then you can duplicate it so come to the triple dot click on duplicate okay then we can say um you can just use any text you want to use but i want to say managerial services okay then we reduce so you can see how it's looking at the moment which i believe is cool then i don't um, change the color of this so i use the red canva has generated for us and i would reduce okay so you can see this is looking very interesting one thing i want to also do is to duplicate the text bring this one here i change the color to yellow okay then i reduce the size and position it right here then maybe i can change the word to promotion okay i'm just using these words so that you can have an idea of what to do okay so i would just say this is some sort of inspiration for you okay nice one okay so after we do that i'm just basically going to be adding some extra text on my so what i'm going to do next is to basically add some extra text okay over here okay so i have added these you know extra text which is special service in this price over here this is not the end what we are going to do next is to add some lines so just press l on your keyboard for line and um, if your l isn't working for some reasons you can come into you know shapes and just search for lines okay with that you get so many lines and we will just increase the weight of this line a little bit come to colors and make sure you have um you know the line with the curved edges okay so in this case i will change the color to white and i'll also rotate it to seven negative seven or eight is fine okay then you'd arrange it you know just spread them across and then um, you know things like that just to give you your design some interesting touch so on the whites i just come and change this to you know um the purple and i'm not going to add too much of the lines but just to make sure uh design is looking good so with this i reduce the length of it okay and just reduce the length and the rotation you know back to negative six you know it was difficult to get negative seven so i'll just keep this to negative six then the next thing we're going to do is to add some circles so press c on your keyboard for circles you can see i i just reduced the size and we would also change the color to white and you know basically just we put in them spread them across you know just spread them across your design so this is looking very interesting now to make our background look interesting this is where this shadow comes in so 
we would first of all make this bigger you understand and make sure it doesn't cover the entire background else it will replace the background then we come to edit image scroll down okay you see dual tone so click on C or okay in C or you can choose any of the options you have over here you understand so come to highlight and in highlight you, you remember we use this um, yellow so we are going to use you know a lighter version okay of the same yellow you understand then you copy the color code come to shadows and just paste the code over here and apply i know this is looking weird but if we just leave it for now once it saves everything would look um interesting okay then come into elements and elements you can just search for logo okay so okay you can see it's done then i right click and send it to the back and you can see how our background is looking i just lock it so that i don't move it around okay i think this is looking very beautiful and i'd rather put this line here to fill the empty space over here then with the logo i come to graphics in graphics let's see if we'll get something very interesting to use so i would um, choose any interesting logo i believe um, works well with this so i just choose this one reduce the size and i'll just position it here okay and if you want you can add you know some extra text over here maybe giving some information about the company you understand so i just change the color and um, i think with the white i'll also change it to yellow so that uh, we can be staying consistent okay so i believe this is a very cool design we have made and um, like you can see very easy and um, very simple all right so i just hope you enjoyed what we just made inside of canva one tutorial i'd love to recommend is this tutorial you see right here or you see on your screen i believe with this there are so many tips and tricks in here i would want you to really take advantage of and yes the name is benjamin and always remember there is no limit to creativity i would see you in my next video